We have only two days left of January, so Java January is almost coming to an end. And to finish it off, I'm reviewing, as promised, Java Monsters Loco Loca Mocha. <laughs> um, I keep, I'm pretty sure I said in my last video Loca Mocha wrong about a million and one times. But um, yeah, today I'm going to review my last Java drink in a little mm -hmm. while. And um, I hope you guys are all okay and that January is going well for you. I know there's this stigma around January where everybody says it's like the most depressing month of the year. Everybody says they feel kind of low and they don't feel at themselves. Um, they worry about money maybe a little bit more than usual. And just in general, it's kind of like all the happiness of Christmas is gone and everybody just feels a bit flat. Um, I've been no different, guys. You know, I... I've, I've, I know I've touched on this in my videos before, but I know I've really, really struggled with my mental health recently. I've been bad my body. I've been drinking probably too many energy drinks. I've been thinking a lot of negative things. I've been not eating properly. I haven't been taking care of myself, so I know exactly what it's like. And I just hope all you guys are hanging on in there and that whenever the nights start getting brighter and whenever we start getting some more vitamin D in our system, that things will improve because... The, the thing about depression, guys, it's the same as January. Whenever it's there, you feel it. You feel really strong about it. You feel like it's going to stay forever. But um, it, it, it goes away, you know. Like, your life never stays the same way forever. You know, things change. Your perspective changes. Your situation changes. The way that, um, you know, the people you involve yourself with changes. So, anybody who's struggling out there just... Keep strong. I know exactly what it's like, and um, I hope you're all just taking care of yourself, like like, like I always say. Um, but it's just worth remembering, and I try to try to remember this. I need to remember this too more often that things will change. Okay. Um. So how's that for a nice a nice start to my cheery my cheery monster review video? Um. I I just wanted to say that since it is the end of January, and um, people are sort of like kind of miserable right now and they're just looking forward to the month ending and I get that you know I mean some people might say it's better to just try and like forget what month it is and forget how you feel and just push on and be positive but I, I get why not everybody can think like that but uh, anyway I'm um, sorry I'm here to do a review of a an energy drink <laughs> um if you couldn't tell from the first three minutes of this video sorry guys right but anyway it's the look lo look look at mocha Whenever it comes to coffees, I'm not a big fan of mocha as a, as a general thing. I think like chocolate and coffee doesn't always mix very well. But I know some people are absolutely crazy about the concept. But you know, loca mocha along with the main bean that I had in the last video, they were two of the original three Monster Javas that were out in 2006. So clearly this must be good to have that long saying power. Those Swiss chocolate that's came out recently may be... Uh, gently phasing away loca loca mocha but we'll try it today we'll read the description first of all and this hopefully will be the very last time I've e i'll ever read this um this description because it's always the same for the javas except for the very recent ones <coughs> java monster no foam extra hot half calf no whip soy latte one last time enough of the coffee house bs already <laughs> uh, it's time to get out of the line and step up to what's next. Java Monster, premium coffee and cream brewed up with killer flavors, supercharged with Monster Energy Blend. Coffee done the Monster way. Wide open with a take no prisoners attitude and the experience and know how to back it up. Unleash the Java beast. It doesn't actually say that, but it, it, I'm surprised it doesn't. Um, but oh, oh, oh okay. Um, last time, last time thing I reviewed the main bean to me, it was kind of like a um, kind of a vanilla, a vanilla frappuccino sort of flavor. Obviously, we know exactly what we're expecting with something called loca mocha. We're expecting a mocha here or a mocha, depending on, on how you say it. And I imagine we are going to get exactly what it says on the tin or the can. <laughs> oh, sugar. Okay, I probably shouldn't. Um, uh, whip that up as as much as I did there. Um, mmm. Oh, well, that said though, there's a really rich chocolatey flavour, which I kind of wasn't expecting to be honest, guys. I was expecting more of a coffee taste to this one because obviously the 
the Swiss chocolate has got such a chocolatey deep flavour to it. I was expecting more coffee and less chocolate here, but from my initial taste just around them, around this part, it seems to me like, uh, it seems to me like it is a um, chocolatey enough to be honest with you, but we'll, we'll have a proper drink here instead of just the, the foam. That's that's not bad. That that is not bad. I mean, compared to the Swiss chocolate, it which kind of to me more tastes like chocolate milk than, than coffee. You definitely do. You do taste a nice sort of um a nice kind of like authentic coffee taste. It sort of has this like um this you know that that aftertaste taste you have whenever you have maybe the cheaper coffees, the Nescafe. Is that sort of like kind of powdery, deep aftertaste, mixed in with a little bit of chocolate. So my initial my initial tastes weren't 100% right. It is kind of chocolatey, kind of coffee-like. So it, um, it's maybe not just as chocolatey as I thought. The chocolate itself tastes kind of just generic, um, normal mocha chocolate. Um, so it, it sort of does, like I said, exactly what it says on the tin. It has a, um, a mixture of mocha and coffee, Neither are overpowering, though the coffee probably is more overpowering, but it's not bad. And just like the main bean, it has this really smooth taste to it as well. Although, like I say, there is that aftertaste of just normal coffee that, that, that you get from it. Mmm. It's not my favourite because, like I say, the chocolate isn't rich and chocolatey. The coffee tastes kind of cheap. But it's not too bad at all. It certainly isn't anywhere near as good as the Mean Bean, which was so smooth and so sweet. And the coffee tasted of like, <clears throat> it almost tasted like of a higher grade. Like it didn't have the aftertaste. It didn't have that sort of, um, that kind of Nescafe taste to it. But it's not bad at all. If you like coffee, if you like chocolate milk, if you like mochas in general, in your cold coffee, your warm coffee, I think it's it's worth giving this giving this a try. So it is, guys, because it's honestly not like not bad at all, not too bad at all. Um, I can't say anything amazing about it. Swiss chocolate's better. A lot of the other Javas I've had is better, but it's solid enough. And for the last thirteen years in this really really fickle market where there's just new energy drink flavors coming out left, right, and center, it's pretty impressive so it is to, to be to be quite honest with you and um it, it holds up very well um uh, when it comes to an actual like an actual rating i would probably give this java monster a two and a half out of five you know i can't give it too uh, too much more than two and a half but it's not too bad and it's a solid enough addition to the range and um, I would give it a mild recommendation. Like I say, two and a half isn't exactly a, uh, you know, a glowing recommendation. But this Java Monster, Loka Mocha, it's worthwhile trying. So thank you very much guys for watching my video. I'm sorry for the sort of like depressing monologue at the start. But um, I, I think like the message that I'm trying to give is just if things are bad, just hold on in there because I've had it tough recently and I've sort of clung in and some days are tougher than others but you know what like I'm still here I'm still alive nothing's been damaged beyond repair and I just have that same attitude that I've that I've said you know where like I will not be this way to forever and anybody else who's struggling out there more than likely the same will happen as well so thank you very, very much anyway, everybody, for checking out this video, uh, my review of Loka Mocha and a bit of a uh, general sort of talk about life. Um, I hope you're all well and um, I'll see you all again soon, okay? Thank you very much for checking out this video, guys, and bye. <laughs>